everybody. I'm Sophia Parola with the Garden State Film Festival, and here with me is filmmaker Stephanie Tercy. She has made the short film Memory. Stephanie, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for coming. I'm so excited to talk to you today. Before we get started with this interview, I'd love for you to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and your part in Memory. Sure. So my name is Stephanie Tercy. I'm based in New York City, but I'm actually from New Jersey originally. I'm an actor, a writer, and now a filmmaker. This was my professional directorial debut. So that is my position in memory. I was the director and the writer. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Not only on making memory and getting accepted, but I'm on your first debut because looking at this, I would not never ever think that. Oh, thank this you. Is such a beautiful film. Can you tell everybody a little synopsis about uh, what it's about? Yeah, so Memory is about a young girl, Brit, who goes home to visit her mom, who is suffering from Alzheimer's, and she decide, decides to put on a backyard play to bring back her mom's memories to her just for that one night. Beautiful. And it, it's told in such a beautiful way. Everything, all the elements inside the film and the actors and the writing, it really is just... It's a, it's a beautiful film. I'd love to know what was your inspiration for writing. It, it feels very personal. And I know there was a dedication at the end. So I'd love yeah. to know a little bit about that. It is a very personal film. Um, Alzheimer's is something that ran through my family, particularly on my dad's side. Um, so something I grew up around. And I've seen Alzheimer's depicted before in lots of theater and film, but I have not yet seen one that focused on the family and the family's position and how they deal with that. So that was what I wanted to focus on. And yeah, it's very personal. So what, what was writing something that's so personal that and so close to home to you? Was it like putting yourself in the position or did you like to like make it as distant as you can? Like what, what is that writing process like? That's a good question. It was really scary. <laughs> um, I feel like the closer you are sometimes to the material, the harder it is to write about it in some ways, because yeah. it's just a little bit scary when you're close to it. Um, I would say I kept myself fairly removed from the process, me as a person. I, I don't think that I wrote myself into it all that much, maybe a little bit because Brit is a filmmaker. Um, but other than that, I kind of tried to keep it separate and look at family dynamics and kind of the oddities that come with um, having a family member that's dealing with memory loss. And yeah, so th that's such a good question. But I, I did kind of keep myself a little bit apart from it so that I wouldn't get scared off of talking about it. Right. And I'm, I'm sure it would, I know that like writing things that are so personal, it is hard and you're, you almost relive those memories as you're writing it. So it's really mm -hmm. interesting to talk to you about how that was for you. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And and you mentioned Brit, who was a phenomenal lead, like right in the opening scene. I was like, OK, I love this actress, like so amazing. And you also have you have great actors all around, but Brit really stood out. And also the woman who plays the mom, who which which isn't an easy role at all to play. So tell me about uh, the casting process. Yeah, absolutely. So Noah was our lead and she is phenomenal. I'm really honored to have worked with her on my first directorial debut. It, it is such a gift to work with actors who understand the script. The minute that you send it to them, she really stood out because she asked all these really intuitive, interesting questions about Brit and her relationship to her mom. And yeah, she was such a standout and so inquisitive, which I really admire in actors. I love when they ask tons of questions, especially when it's stuff that I hadn't even thought about. So she brought so much of herself to it. Um, and that casting was was really easy. She stood out so quickly. And then the mom was played by Julie. And I actually have known Julie for years. We did community theater together. She is a wonderful actress. Um, she is from Jersey like I am, so that was where we met, but she actually flew all the way to Jersey from Colorado to do this. Wow. Um, yeah, I reached out to her because I just knew she would be perfect. She has family members who've dealt with Alzheimer's, so she just really understood from a personal level what it's like. And yeah, I'm so grateful. I feel like I just worked with the best cast. Yeah, and, and hearing you talk about it, hearing the love and passion in your voice and like the, the gratefulness and, and that all comes through in the film. Like I really, 
I think you're a perfect representation of like when you write something that with love and and film it with love, it it it, it all communicates through the film. So oh, that was amazing. You. I'd love to ask you about the filming process. I mean, you had some wonderful elements, a lot of actors, and you had that play in the backyard with all the lighting. What what was uh, how long did it take you to make this, and what went into the creative creation? Yeah. So we filmed it in three days, which is kind of crazy because it's 20 minutes. So that is aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, again, props completely to our crew. We had a fully female crew and Ian was a sound guy for one day who filled in, who was wonderful as well. But I, I feel so blessed with the crew that I worked with. Lisa was our DP and she came in with such visionary, beautiful ideas for filming it right away. Uh, we filmed it at my parents' house in New Jersey, actually. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I wanted it to have this suburban feel and they put on this backyard play. So I wanted just a, a modest, nice backyard. And I was like, maybe I'll call mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> and they agreed. Um, and Lisa went back and, and was able to envision this beautiful, sweeping um, play in the backyard and, and just brought such a gorgeous element to it. Um, and we were also really lucky to have Daisy as our lighting designer and she works in theater mostly. So it was I this love my theater fit. people. That's um, <laughs> yes, I love them. They're so fun. And she had this theater experience. So she was able to light our stage that in a way that felt very theatrical and also worked for film. So it all just really came together. That is so, that's so beautiful. And I mean, I feel like so much went into this. I love those all female crew and shout out to Ian. And it, it's just, I love everything I'm hearing. I feel like there's so much to be proud of and especially so much to like, I'm sure you're so proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. But looking back at this experience, what are you, what are you most proud of? Like this was your first directorial debut. I'm sure it's hard to pick one thing, but what would I mean you say you're most proud of? <laughs> This might be general, but I'm proud of just doing it, going for it in the first place. It was something that I sat on for a while. And in, in the beginning of 2020, I would vaguely written this script and then everything shut down, theater shut down, which is what I was doing on a daily basis. And I was like, what do I do with myself? So making the decision of, you know what, I'm going to create something rather than sit and wait and be upset and worried and all that. Um, and I, I was scared to take the leap and say, I'm going to try directing. I'm going to try a new thing. So just doing that in the first place, going through the steps, learning the process, I'm, I'm really proud of that. And then just proud of everyone involved. Yes. I mean, that's, that's a wonderful thing to be proud of just doing it because I know so many ideas die in people's head and doing it can be hard, especially when it's your first time. So, I mean, huge congratulations to you. And obviously you successfully did it. I mean, we're here. So <laughs> that brings me to my last question, even though I could talk to you all night, but why <laughs> did you submit to Garden State? I mean, I know you're from Jersey and we filmed it in Jersey, but how does it feel having memory in, in the Garden State Film Festival? It's just the perfect premiere for us. I, it was fully filmed in New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. I love the film Garden State. There's so many things. I, <laughs> I'm just a proud New Jerseyan. And I, I think it is so special to have the film premiere somewhere where not only can my family come see it, including my mom who played Carol, actually. My mom is in it. Oh, she's awesome. She's amazing. <laughs> she, is, she is. She's like, I'm becoming an actor now. <laughs> um, my dad built the stage. He's an engineer and it felt very homey and and special in that way so to be able to have it premiere at the garden state film festival in new jersey where all of them can see it is just really really special i love that i mean see it was a beautiful film but like this is why i love these interviews and picking the filmmaker's mind because it just makes the process and when you watch it so much better like i know when i watch this during the screening it's just gonna it's, it's gonna be so much better i love that your family was involved yeah i love everything i know i so that was my last question, but <laughs> hearing you talk made me really want to ask you, um, especially because it's so close to home, so many people know people with Alzheimer's and so many people can relate to this film. What do you hope audiences at the Garden State Film Festival get out of watching Memory? I think I just hope that 
they feel this sense of you're not alone. So many families deal with this and work through it with humor and with grace. And this is one example of a family doing that. I hope the humor of it comes through for people that, yes, these are very difficult situations, but sometimes it's kind of ridiculous and kind of funny and you can laugh and still be a family. And, and yeah, I hope that it's just one vignette that makes people feel like they're not alone in that experience. I love that. Beautiful, beautifully said. I obviously you can tell I love everything you're saying <laughs> and I really love memory. Congratulations. Let me tell everyone how they can watch memory. It will be screening at the Berkeley Hotel in the Continental Room Saturday, March 26th in the film block 10 p.m. to 1130 p.m. So will you be there, Stephanie? I will absolutely be there. I hope to meet some of you. <laughs> I hope so. Everyone can meet the filmmaker and enjoy memory, a beautiful, beautiful film. So thank you so much. Congratulations. I know that there's tons of success in your future as an actor and a writer and a director. So congrats. Thank you. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Yes. Have a great night. You too. <laughs>